Badlands National Park. America. This great, good land. This is what America is. But America is also its bad lands. Moonscape regions fantastically shaped and reshaped by the relentless forces of erosion. Blasting winds pounding rains. Why are these lands called bad? You need only step off an established trail to find out. A terrain torturous to travel over. Bad lands, bad to cross. The most famous and infamous of America's badlands are those of the Dakotas, home of the Black Hills. Mount Rushmore National Monument and two flourishing national parks. Buttes, pinnacles, spires with layers of subtly colored rock, beige, pink, green, and gold. This is Badlands National Park in southwest South Dakota. Every year, over three-quarter million people visit the park's 240,000 acres of buttes, pinnacles, and spires. Badlands is also its vast prairies. This is a remnant of one of the world's great grasslands. Some 2,000 years ago, these grasslands were dense with bison. The American buffalo. An estimated 60 million of them roamed the North American plains. For thousands of years, Native Americans hunted them. The bison provided everything they needed food, hides for robes, clothes, drum heads, teepee coverings, sinew for bow strings, horn for cooking utensils. Clearly, the bison sustained their very existence. Then, the bison were almost annihilated by white hunters. Wiping out the buffalo as a food source was a way of starving the Indians into submission. President and conservationist Theodore Roosevelt once commented sadly, never before were so many large wild animals of one species slain in so short a space of time. Once powerful tribes, still proud, were forced to live on handouts. Families of starving Sioux Indians would perform the ghost dance. In their despair, many of them turned to this ancient ritual that they believed would magically bring back the buffalo. Today, the buffalo have returned to the Badlands, due more to movements begun by people like Theodore Roosevelt than to silenced songs of the ghost dancers. And today, these lands are more hospitable to outsiders than they were when Native Americans roamed here. Weaving through narrow passes, the Badlands Loop Road offers roadside exhibits and several scenic overlooks. This is the only paved road in the park. There's wildlife at every turn. Prairie dogs, creatures unknown until one was captured by Lewis and Clark, and sent to President Thomas Jefferson along with a progress report.
wild turkeys, bighorn sheep, The park's White River Badlands are renowned, renowned internationally as one of the most important fossil-rich areas on our planet. Some 67 to 75 million years ago, this prairie was the soggy bottom of an ancient sea. From this black, muddy floor, scientists have uncovered fossils of bizarre sea creatures. Some millions of years later, volcanic eruptions buried the area with successive layers of ash. A grave for prehistoric beasts, but for today's scientists, a treasure trove of fossils. To park visitors, as well as to probing scientists, these badlands prove to be uniquely good. <laughs>